Be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. Watch what he says here. For many walk, of whom I told you often, and now I tell you, weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile bodies, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Church, say amen. amen. May be seated. May the Lord's words be blessed. Because the Lord's word is already blessed. Amen. amen. It's powerful. It's powerful. It's powerful. It comes as a two-edged sword. And is that? I can talk about how to deal with a broken world. How to deal with a broken world. I preached that before. I want to say it again because it seems like things are really crazy in this world today. I'm telling my wife, I said, I wanted to say that yesterday. I thought all the crazy people was in the hospital. But they all over the place. They sit right by you in church. Amen. You, you just don't know what they're going to do. When they're going to do it. When they gonna lose control? Hallelujah! And I really, I was sitting to myself, my God, I said, "Well, all the crazy people, all the insane people, not in the hospital, but there are many that are out among us." Amen. And all the dangerous people are not in prison. Many of them are still on the outside with us. Amen. We have to realize that we live in a broken world. But when God made this world, He intended for everything to be good because He called it good. So after He finished, He looked around, He says, Good. Even, at the, even after He made man, He says, It's good. All of this stuff is good. That's my intention. For it to be good. He looked at the relationship among the animals and realized that it was all good. Look at that. Look at Adam. Adam made Adam. Adam, Adam, Adam. He looked at Adam, how Adam got along with the animals. They would come to him and he would name them. And you use your imagination, a lion walking up to Adam. Great big, the king of the beasts. Bowing before man. God gave him dominion. And Adam would name him blind. Adam said, just something about you that made me want to call you blind. The whale would come by, swim by him, and he would look at his size and he would say, it's just something about you would make me want to call you a great fish. You're so big and you're so strong. It's just something about you. He would name them. God looked at Adam and he said, You look lonely anyhow. Because everybody else, the lion, didn't come by itself. He came with the lioness. Neither did the whale. He said, But you look lonely, Adam. I'm going to come down and give you somebody that will keep you from being lonely. And he said, the Bible says that he took from Adam. I'm not going to take nobody else. Take it from nowhere else. Because I only made one man from the ground. And out of Adam, he made one man. God still 
say neither. Amen, Amen somebody? Amen. He called her woman. Amen. I don't care what these rappers say. Amen. They got it wrong. Amen. They don't know the Bible. Amen. Adam had it right. Adam said, you're a problem of my problem. Flesh of my flesh. Baby, you come from me. How do you mistreat you? Honey, I love you. Because I love myself. God said, look evil when he made Eve. God called Eve. Adam called a woman. He said, it's good. But he didn't come to the hour. Hallelujah, somebody. And he didn't get in the man he got in the state. And the seed Eve. And Eve came to her husband. And he disobeyed God. And ever since then, we live in a broken world. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. There's no other way of saying it. It's a horrible, terrible world. It's a horrible, broken world where evil is real. One writer suggested three ways Christians ought to respond to the horror of a broken world. First of all, we need to pray. When I was coming back from Waco, I called Pastor Wood. I said, Pastor Wood, Katrina just messed the city up. I said, what are we going to do? He said, Reverend, he said, on my way back from Birmingham, he said, we're going to pray. Whenever I talk to him, he'll say this, we're going to pray. Don't be afraid to call it what it is, y'all. Get up and do something about it. First of all, we're going to pray. Second of all, if it's a horrible, broken world, that's what we're going to call it. Thirdly, we're going to get off our tail and do something about it. Paul suggested to the Philippians to be followers of him together and walk and be an example to other people. And I like what Paul said, if you're going to follow me, follow me together. And not separate. Unity is strength. Oneness is strength. They can't mess with you when you all get together. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm I, I, I love the Discovery Church channel. I love the Animal channel. And, and I like how these buffaloes, when the lions came to get one of them, they would all surround themselves with themselves. And they will put the weakest among them in the middle. Because the lion is going to come after the weakest one. The people of God, the Bible, declare that those who are strong are bad, the infirmity of the weak. That's us. We need to surround the weak in order to keep the devil from getting to them. Somebody going to help me here? Men, we ought to protect our wives and our children. We ought to protect our babies. Too much to, 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 to do to get over here. 